Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is San. This is a reading today for Leo. There are no dates on my readings. I just trust that when the message finds you, if it resonates with you, then it's your message at that time. Um, so Leo, you'll see if you've tuned into my channel previous to this video, you'll see that I'm in a new location, a different location than usual. Um, my daughter and I are, are, will be spending some time away from home this summer, and so I thought I would try filming in this location, see how it works out, because I would still really like to continue connecting with you guys even when I'm not home. So it seems to be going okay. I've done four videos now. I think this is number five. Um, you know, it's tolerable. It's acceptable. It's not ideal. The blue background is really washing out the vibrancy of the cards, which is a little upsetting to me because they're so uh, vibrant and beautiful, but... Um, but that's okay. The message is the most important part. So we're going to just jump right into your reading today. And I've done your spread with the combined Animal Oracle and the Good Tarot. So you're going to see uh, a blend of the two decks in your spread today. So you begin your reading today with this Grasshopper Spirit, which um, usually comes across to me as the fool energy, of course, because it's, it's a leaping off, taking a leap of faith, moving in a new direction, you know, leaving behind the known and moving into the unknown, um, trusting. Um, but how it's coming through today actually is, is it's somebody else's energy, somebody else or an opportunity, a situation or opportunity or a person or a group of people, something um, is about to make a move. It's about to move in a new direction. And you're coming in here, Leo, as the seven of earth, as um, wanting to follow it. You can see here, there's this energy here, this little fairy looks a bit like Tinkerbell. The card's not going to focus. Um, but the sense that I'm getting with the combination of these two cards is the moment that you see this opportunity or, or, or person or situation, it immediately is exciting to you. It's got like your antennas are raised, you know, you're tuned into it and it's exciting to you. It's, ca it's causing all sorts of new thoughts, new inspiration, creativity. And so you're absolutely locked into it, right? It's like you meet this energy and then it, you know, it holds your awareness for a moment, but then it starts to move like this grasshopper and you're inclined to follow it is the message that I'm getting here. It's coming through a little bit like a will of the wisp. If you're familiar with that folk tale, the will of the wisp is, I think it's like a, it's supposed to be like a ghostly luminescence that, um, that leads people into a forest or into the woods. It appeared, I came across it in um, Disney's Brave. There's a Will of the Wisp and Merida follows it into the woods. Um, what comes out next is the magician with the fortune's wheel. And this is kind of like what you are going to run into if you follow this inclination, if you follow this moving energy where it's taking you is to this here, deep in the, deep in the dark woods, you're going to meet this this magician or this witch that has something to offer you, a promise to make for you. So um, my inclination at this point in the reading is to think that there's something that you should be aware of in this situation that isn't immediately apparent. Um, it might not be a trickster type energy. I'm not, I'm not tending to want to go in that direction, but I am inclined to say that in the least, it, it appears to be not fully what it's presenting itself as, at least in relationship to you. For you personally, I don't know if this is, um, if this will lead to where it's promising or where it seems to be going. It could be a little bit of a off course. It's like, it's like you, by following this wisp, by following this quick moving energy, it's, it may be getting you off course a little bit with that whole, you know, being led into the forest. It's like you lose your way. Um, anyway, this magician, you can see he's, I hope you can see he's holding his hands out and he has this swirling vortex of energy that he's holding out to you. And what it is today is this wheel of fortune. 
Wheel of Fortune being, it's like he's promising you some destined, fated, wish fulfillment type energy with all of these stars sprinkled around. You know, he's got stars. There's all this star energy around him. So it's this, it's this very alluring. And like I said, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm just inclined to think positively, but I don't think that this energy is trying to trick you. I think that you're seeing a lot of excitement in it. And, um, you're of course wanting a very exciting adventure. And so it, it is a match to you in that way. But I think on a deeper core level, when it comes to your actual true path, it's not in complete alignment with you. It's not completely in alignment with you. I mean, you're welcome to explore it. I don't get any sense that it's, that it's a negative experience. I think it might just be kind of a detour, right? And that, you know, you can go that way for a while, but I think you will eventually find that you're going to want to come back to center. And the reason that I say that is because the two of earth with the patience card coming out next, um, patience is the temperance card in the traditional tarot. So both of these cards are about balance, finding balance, finding the middle ground, not acting too hastily, having patience. Um, and patience, patience isn't coming out for me as you must sit and wait for an opportunity. For me, this is um, to just slow down your impulse to lunge forward into this opportunity. It's just saying hold back even for a moment and just weigh out the energy here. Find the middle ground of this energy, right? Like I said, you can you can absolutely go this way. There's not any kind of, of darkness or negativity I'm sensing. I just feel like it would just lead to a detour. It's not leading where you believe it to be leading. It could just be a waste of time really in the end, like no big deal, just kind of a waste of time. Um, and with the 10 of fire coming out with the star next, this is, this is kind of just repeating again, this magician and the fortunes wheel energy, because, you know, this is very much the magician type energy. She's got the same kind of cloak on. She's, it's like, she's performing a magic trick. She's putting on a show with all this fiery energy. This is, this is like the will of the wisp, the magician, the show. And it's like saying, it's saying, you know, follow me, I'll make you a star. I have all of your hopes and dreams. I have the answer. I have the path. I have, I am the way to all of your hopes and dreams, right? That's what this energy is saying. And that's kind of where my caution comes in again as well, because, because it's, it feels like, you know, with this deer spirit and the seven of fire, it feels a little bit like it's pulling you, like I said, it's pulling you off your path. It's kind of pulling you out of yourself a little bit because you, it's like you're, it's like you're leaping into their energy into, or this, whatever the situation is. It's like you're, you're stepping out of your vibration and stepping into theirs is the energy I'm getting with these two cards with this deer spirit, um, the gentle touch. What I'm getting with the deer is this um, wanting to be trusting, being open, being a gentle spirit. This is you, Leo. You are such a gentle, trusting being that you're willing to follow this one. With the seven of fire, um, again, a little bit like the fool energy for me, because it's like, it's taking a leap and they, all of these will of the wisp energy surrounding it, encouraging it, beckoning it forward. But like I said, I feel like it's pulling you out of your, out of your, what is it? Your, it's off your path. Essentially. That's just the sense that I'm feeling with it today is that going into the woods, going into the forest. It's like that forest, as I said, it's free for you to explore it, but it doesn't feel to me like it's a match to you. It is in the sense that you're looking for an adventure and excitement and, and to explore the unknown, but this particular unknown, this particular adventure, if this is resonating with you, um, it just isn't fully in alignment with you. 
and they, like I said, I don't think anything really um, negative would happen if you follow this course. But with the Badger Spirit, actually, and the Chariot coming out next, the Badger being fearless and bold, and the Chariot all about drive and direction, what's coming through here, Leo, is that this is what it is. It's like the guidance here, the message in the cards is saying to be bold and to be um, the driver of your own life, to, to drive to be the creator, to make a decision about what you want and then create it instead of this energy of um, following another's creation or jumping into another person's energy or an, an opportunity. It could even be something as simple as here's a job offer, come and work in my company and the message is saying, you can, but really you want to do your own thing. You want to start your own business. You're ready. It's time to create your own thing is the message I'm getting very strongly here, Leo. And it's almost like there's something here about this gentle deer energy where it's like you would rather at this point, it's like this, this holds a lot of anxiety or fear for you. It's like you think you're not ready you think you don't have what it takes maybe. And so you're more willing to just be gently guided by others. It's like this feels like an easier course for you. It feels more gentle, more, um, it puts you at ease more because it, because there, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to be fearless, which points to, to it, it containing fear for you. This must have fear in it for you. For you to need fearlessness to move into it. You see what I'm saying? So, but the guidance here is really kind of saying, you know, with the transformation card out, the end of this reading beautifully, you know, she's, she's holding, she's holding within her hands, her own fate and destiny. It's right here. It's her creation. I often see this card as, like breathing life into something. It's like you're going to, and, and it's going to create your own will of the wisp generated out of your own core vibrational soul energy. And it's like setting out your own creation into the world and then following that, following, following your own lead in a sense, right? So that's where this is coming around to in the end here. It's basically saying, you, I seem to be, Connecting with the Leo that is maybe on the fence between, um, you know, f taking a job opportunity or finally branching out on your own and doing your own thing, right? Uh, jumping into a new, exciting, passionate relationship or, you know, being okay on your own for a while and just exploring life as, a, as a, an individual, an independent individual in charge of of your own life, creating your own, creating your own foundation, your own abundance, your own anything completely self-directed. And it doesn't, it doesn't mean necessarily being single. You can be in a, in a relationship and still be strongly, um, self-driven. So it, it may not be about a relationship. Don't take that too literally. I'm just giving you examples of how this could be expressing. It's pretty much just saying, Leo, it's time to bite the bullet do the project, start the business, branch out on your own. You're ready. If you, you're, like I said, you're welcome to follow the other energy into a, an adventure. Absolutely. But it seems that what you really want is this. And so you can do that for a while longer if you want to, but you're going to come back around at some point leave this detour and come back to where you started and still be faced with this energy. At some point, you're going to have to face it, I believe is the message today, Leo. So I'm going to continue pulling cards, see if we can get a sense of where this is going. If you do go in this direction, where is this taking you? Um, so if you're interested in the extended, link is in the description box. And if not, I will see you next time, Leo. Thanks. Bye.